Hey guys, how's it going? Today is the big day. Phil is coming in for his first check-in. Um, it's probably been about 10 days. 10 days, but probably about 7 days that he's actually kind of been on point. So I'm really excited to see how he's going today. We're going to take a skin fall, check his average weigh-ins, and basically just see if he's been making progress. Oh my gosh, look who it is. It's me, it's Phil. I'm surprised you came. I'm surprised I came. I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like that at all. This is a moment of truth. So Phil, have you been, uh, tell us, tell us about your week. Oh my goodness. All right, I have to be completely honest. It was, look, getting back into training for the, like, for the first time in a long time was actually very difficult. I didn't realize how sore I would be all the time. Also, eating food is hard. Like, sorry, let me rephrase that. Not eating food is hard. Like trying to stop myself from delicious food that my family makes, very difficult. So there was a lot of ups and downs throughout the week, but I'm hoping that I've made some changes by implementing my training and eating a bit better and being more mindful about it. Not saying it was perfect, but I'm definitely hoping to progress each week. I noticed you, you set up your Instagram. It's a digital Yes. That is me. He's got a countdown on his phone. I do, a hundred and... Mm -hmm. As of today, it'll be 174 days to go. 174 days to go. So, how many days have elapsed, exactly? Um, since the start, about 10. 10 days. About 10 days. 10 days. Technically, yeah. Okay. So, let's see what Phil has done in the last 10 days. Oh, God. So uh, today, um, if you guys saw this room and how small it was, it's just ridiculous. And uh, today we don't have just Phil and I in here, we got my brother helping me, so... Phil, what's up? What's up? So... Chris is going to help us do a little bit of filming today, so... Thanks Chris. We're going to mark off sides first, and then we're going to take folds exactly the same as last time, same sides. All eight. So Phil, you gotta, you gotta get naked. Let's do it. How do we start? Okay, facing that way. Oh, your chest. I'm so used to it. I know exactly what you guys say. You're fine. Oh yeah. Facing that way. People tell I'm sucking in. Arms down. Good. Okay, face it towards your body. So, when I'm doing skin folds, I'm kind of using a hybrid method of the ISAK format and then I've just sort of created like an express version. The full ISAC format would take an easy 30-40 minutes and that's just not practical. Okay, progress. Oops. You know what? Ooh. That's better than for me. Yeah. That way. Wait, is that good? Yeah. Facing over this way. Yeah. Right on across your chest. When was the last time you did folds? About ten days ago. Oh, ten days ago. Good. Consider yeah, considering that like my eating wasn't exactly perfect but my training was reasonable. Mm. And at least getting in like 
a lot of walking and a lot of like at least training three to four times a week. So it was nice. Doing weights. All right, let's in this way. But that's only one measurement. And now I have to get the rest of them to tell me that I'm doing okay. Okay. Ooh, big drop, my friend. Big drop. Wait, good? Yeah, that's a good drop. That's like a 10 mil drop. <laughs> one side. We're gonna put on the, the Pornhub music. This is. I was gonna start an OnlyFans <laughs> if I got <laughs> really good. <laughs> if, if everything got really good, I would start. No. <laughs> <laughs> like pinching up with the belly button. Those are my least favorite. This is my worst one. I can't stand it. Why? Because it Rex, actually hurts. Yeah, it really hurts. Yeah, I'm pinching pretty fucking hard right now. I'm not too bad. All right, pop it up. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to see a counselor. I feel like there's a, and there needs to be a couch in here. Some kind of, for, for casting purposes. For <laughs> control <laughs> time. For casting purposes. Oh, that's brilliant. I can't put my pants on. Alright, we're gonna let Phil get changed and then we're gonna go through his results. <laughs> Balls are done. So, uh, let's go through Phil's results. I need to start a screencast, so, sorry. Filming screen record thing. So let's have a look. So, new screen recording. Three, two, one. Alrighty, so basically, I wanted to go through Phil's results. Once again, we pinched across all eight sides. Um, and Phil, guess what? Do you, do you feel like you've lost body fat? No! I no. still I still feel as big as when I started. That's right. And it's concerning. It's concerning. Yeah. Okay. But that's why... So, feelings, that's what we call subjective mm -hmm. um, data. So, how do you feel? How do you look? Mm. Etc. So subjective information, especially the first four weeks of a transformation, not the best, uh, how should I say, indicators of progress. Yeah. Okay. So good news is, Phil, I swear to God, I'm not bullshitting your folds because your quad went up, your calf went up. Makes no sense. Best it, quads in the game. <laughs> but long story short, I said it again, mm. you lost 24.9 mils. Now, for a layman such as myself, that's like, oh, 24.4. That's good, right? That's good. That, wait, wait, wait. So, good or good? Great. Okay. Great. Wow. <laughs> okay. Great. Better than I expected. I, I was happy to get maybe 12 or 13, even 10, just double digits I'd be happy with. Uh, because last week we set projections at 6.7 millimeters a week. Um, when I pinched Phil, we pinched Phil 26th of February, today's the 12th of March, so that's 12 plus 2, that's 2 weeks, that's 14 days. That time flies. Yeah, so it's 14 days, but Phil's kind of only really been on point for about 10. Yeah. Sort of, I had to send him programming. Honestly, I was a little bit delayed sending him programming. You're a busy client, man, it makes sense. A client competing on the weekend, and it was just compressed. So, I'd say Phil has been probably sticking it out for about 10 days. 
which means he's been averaging around 12.5 mils per week, which is double what we anticipated. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And to be honest, I think it's only going to get better. All right. But here's the caveat. Oof. So it's always bad. 24.9 is only 10% of 25.4. Sorry, 254. So mm -hmm. last week when I pinched you, you were 254.8 millimeters. Mm -hmm. um, you've lost 25 millimeters, roughly. Mm -hmm. So what that basically means is he's reduced his total subcutaneous body fat stores by 10%. Now, if you're at 100 millimeters mm -hmm. and you reduce your folds by 10%, mm -hmm. that would only be 10 millimeters. That's correct. Yes, that's right. Okay. So we need to be losing a lot every week now. Mm -hmm. Because as you get leaner, yeah. you'll be losing less. Okay? But so far, we're looking good. It's tough being beautiful. And now we want to sort of look at his weight. Let's see what's been going on with Phil's weight. And I think this kind of leads into the, like, when you said, how do you feel the subjective? Like, I can see a number, like, so my, my weight as of today was 88.9. Yesterday, I weighed 88.1. Because yeah. I had a big dinner. Said, see, I don't feel. Uh -huh. So when I feel myself, I'm like, I don't feel like anything's changed. But when you tell me numbers, yeah. like losing 25 mils, uh -huh. that blows my mind. Yeah. And reducing total subcutaneous body fat by 10%. See, he's using words. I don't understand. <laughs> reducing your total body fat percent. Well, not your. All right. So <laughs> your total sum by 10%, which is significant. Your subcutaneous body fat. Thing, subcutaneous body fat. All right, so let's go through Phil's weight. So I want to look at Phil's weight. We've got three weeks worth of. Where are we? Here we go. So Phil's been tracking his weight every morning, fasted, ideally after a bowel movement. Some of the, it's it's tough. Sometimes it's not always perfect. So you're doing it fasted, right? I'm tr I'm trying to yeah. do them all fasted because that's well, what let's I Let's do it fasted. Phil. The, well, the, that's what I want. <laughs> I can't control me sometimes. No, um, yeah. So we don't want any fluids. That's right. And no food. That's right. And ideally after a bowel movement. Yeah. Okay. That's the stuff you can't control. How do you know you want to go in the morning? All right. That's cool. Honestly, that's fine. So just if, if it's a bit of everything. If you can't control the bowel movement or you can't control the the urination then just uh, just log it. Just make sure no fluids and no food. <laughs> Sorry, log it. In, in, immature, I'm immature. It dropped by 0 0.04 grams this week, 40 grams, so that's pretty much nothing. This week here, weight actually increased, and then probably only this week was the first week that Phil has actually had a good weight drop. Mm. Okay, mm. cool. All right, so literally, probably, you'd only start tracking here. So as we can see, 89.3, dropped to 89.1, 88.9, 88.8, 88.1. So basically, since last Thursday, I would say you've had good weight loss. But yeah, so I'm keen to see progression over these next couple of weeks when it comes to Phil's weight. Next week, yes. what do we want to work on? What do you feel like are your weak links right now? Um, my weakest links, I think, would be that I'm just too handsome. I've got to be less hand. No, I'm just joking. I, my weakest links, in my opinion, are I'm not consistent, which I would, I say I am, and I think I am, but I'm not. I'm not as consistent as I like to be, and I'd like to eat better. I'd like to follow something. I'm a simple man, yeah, and I can follow things like if I have to eat the same thing every day, uh -huh. I'll do that in order to get results. And I think that's maybe something. I would need to get started on. I mean, I'm eating a lot healthier. I have a lot of support from myself, my family. I'm cooking better and I'm not eating out as much, which is excellent. But yeah, definitely consistency. It's so important. Oh my God. But yeah, I want to get better at either, at, or actually at both eating better in terms of like regimented eating and then regimented slightly better in terms of my training. Still a bit of freedom, but just consistently going the five times a week, doing my recovery, getting my cardio in. Week one, honestly, with all my clients, is orientation week. So orientation, just getting used to the systems, getting used to tracking, getting used to using the apps, getting used to logging your weight, getting used to the spreadsheets, 
there's a lot of things you've got to get used to when you're starting a transformation. So honestly, the first week is orientation week. So for you to lose 25 millimeters and to drop 450 grams and actually start making progress, I'm happy with that. And I'm happy that you're happy. That's all that matters. That's good. I mean, I'll eventually get there. That'll be fine. I'll be, I'm gorgeous anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But in 24 weeks time or 20... We've got something to prove. We got, well, I got something to prove. Yeah. Well, I got we something. got something to prove. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. See you next week, Phil. Laters. Laters.